What's up guys, it's Matt Collins Jones here, also known as the D365 Geek, and today we're talking about Power Automate and Excel Online Business, and we're going to look at the action which is delete a row. So Excel Online Business Connector is a connector for Power Automate that allows you to interact with Excel data or Excel spreadsheets. So this means that you can store your Excel spreadsheet in OneDrive or SharePoint, and then you can interact with that data. You can pull data out of it, you can push data into it, you can do a bunch of stuff. Um, so this is a way for us to interact with that data. We're going to go through all the actions that are available in this connector, starting off with delete a row. So let's take a look at it today. So I'm in Power Automate here. Um, I have a manual trigger flow because we just want to trigger this. We don't need to get any data or do anything with it. Let me click on new step. And then right here at the top, I've got Excel Online Business. Um, I can also search for it into, in the uh, connection bar here, in the search bar. But I can just choose connect, uh, Excel Online Business. And then the one at the top is delete a row. At this point, it's going to ask me for a few pieces of key information that it requires to, act, to be able to identify the row that we want to delete. So first off, we have the location. Now, this is the location of your documents. So this could be SharePoint or it could be your uh, OneDrive for Business. In my instance, I actually have this in my OneDrive for Business. But as we kind of look at this list, um, other than the OneDrive for Business at the top, which says me, the rest of these are SharePoint sites. Um, these are SharePoint or Office 365 groups that have been created for those SharePoint sites. So we're going to choose OneDrive for Business. Let's ask me for my document library. So again, if this was a SharePoint site, you could have a different number of document libraries based on which, whichever, how, how many you created. In this instance, I'm just using OneDrive for Business. The strange thing for me is that there are two here um, that seem to have different numbers. Um, clicking either one gets you to the same document library. So I don't really know why it's here and why there's two, but there is. So if we choose that one, it just it resolves to OneDrive, so that's fine. Uh, then it needs the file that we need. So the file I put into a folder called Power Automate. And if we click on the arrow there, I can find the book which is called Flowbook XLS. Thanks. So it's got that, and now it's asking me for three other things. It's asking me for a table, a key column, and a key value. At this point, I think it's actually worth showing you my Excel spreadsheet so you can take a look at what, what we are going to be putting into this. So this is my Excel spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet and we've got a table in here with a bunch of columns. So the thing to know is that it does require a table. So you do need to format your data as a table so it knows what to read inside your Excel spreadsheet. It's not just going to look through all the, all the columns and all the rows across multiple spreadsheets to find out what, what you are trying to do. It's actually asking you to say, hey, what is the table you need me to delete the row from? That way it knows that we are updating or deleting the right record or the right row. So in this instance, I've got a series of names, I've got a series of ages, I've got a series of occupations, I've got a series of AKAs, or also known as. So this is my table. It's called table one. It's very uh, uniquely named in that respect. Um, and we can we can put in different different data depending on what we want to search for. So we have four columns here. And based on whatever we put into one of these, into whatever our key value is, it's going to identify that record as being the one to delete, or that row as being the one to delete. So if I flip back to my flow for a second, it's asking me for the table. So the table is going to be table one, because I only have a single table inside my spreadsheet. The key column is going to give me the columns that we have inside of that spreadsheet. So I'm right here with AKA. And then it's asking me for a key value. So this is the value that we're going to match on the key column to the key value. So if we have here, we can see the also known as is we have the Flash, Green Lantern, Martian Manhunter, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Batman. If I go back to my flow and if I type in Batman into here, that will then identify that record or that row as being the one to delete. So if I go through and I click test and I'll perform a trigger action, we'll save and test, we'll run the flow, we'll click done, you see the flow ran successfully, 
If we expand this, we don't have any outputs, so we just delete something, go back to our book, and we can see that record there, or that row there, has been deleted and taken out of that table. So that's how this works. So we need to pass in de details of where it is, so where the location is, OneDrive business or SharePoint, document library, so is the document library inside your SharePoint, or is it your OneDrive for business? We need to know where the file is, we need to know what the table is, we need to know what the key column is and the key value inside that column so we can delete that data. But hopefully that makes sense to you. You know, Excel is one of those things that has been around for um, you know 20 plus years now. It's a fantastic tool to do what it needs to do. It's probably one of the most used data sources in the entire like world um, in terms of how you use data and things like that and how you store data. I'm not necessarily saying that that's the best place to store your data, uh, especially if you have relational data, but it's just flat file data or data that isn't too key to your business um, and can be stored in, in an Excel spreadsheet, then this is a great uh, data source. And using all these tools inside Power Automate really allows you to do interesting things with that data source. So you should always be aware of what you're doing and whether you're storing your data in the right place. So in this instance, I've just written a flow there that deletes a row and there's no getting that row back. That row is now gone. Uh, we could restore the Excel spreadsheet, but there's nothing to say the row has been deleted, etc. So you should use this sparingly and use this for the right situations. Uh, but I think that Excel and Excel and Power Automate are a fantastic match because it allows you to manipulate that data really, really easily and quickly. So what do you guys think? What do you use this for? Do you have like a booking system? Do you have like a um, some data that you're putting into here that you then have to delete periodically because of holding it for too long or something like that? Let me know in the comments down below what you use it for. If you enjoyed this video, if you could like and share it with your friends, that would be appreciated. It would help me grow this channel a bit more. If you um, And if you've not already, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my latest videos. And I'll see you next time.